Hello and welcome to 6512 Holland's Way, Centerville, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the murraygroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I will be your host. Here I'm standing at the front of this property walking up the driveway and one thing to point out with this home, this is actually Washington Township. So it's Centerville Schools but it's Washington Township so there are no city income taxes which this is a nice neighborhood and makes it even more desirable. On the front of the property, we have freshly landscaped flower beds here. Have a large cedar tree in the front yard. There's the front door where we'd enter the property. All of the gables have been freshly painted for this house. As you can see, the freshly landscaped flower beds here have some solar lights. Or I don't know that those are solar lights, but landscaping lights nonetheless. And then one thing about this property, we have a side attached garage, so we have a long driveway located on a cul-de-sac street. See, this is going to be a low traffic cul-de-sac cul street. Great house for kids. Long driveway to go rollerblading, skateboarding, you know, biking, walking up and down the driveway. Have a large parking pad here to the rear. Here we can see the other gable. Might have a little glare by the sun right there. You see we're walking up on the side attached garage. Now it doesn't look like it from the road, but this house has a gigantic backyard. All we're looking at right now is side yard, so this is not part of the backyard. We have a vinyl storage shed here, which has two doors. And here we're walking up to the property. Property has a wood, wood picket fence on the front here and on the back side. Walking up the path pathway here. Before we go look at the backyard, let's go check out the front. Excuse me, let's go check out, let's go to the front door and we'll go inside the house. Here I've just walked through the front door and as you can see, we have ceramic tile on the entry. Over to my left is a good size coat closet. And one thing to point out for this house, all of the doors are solid six panel doors. And over here, to, over here to the left, that's a utility room that you can see in there, but all the bedrooms are down here to the left and they're all very good size. We'll check those out here in a minute. Straight ahead here is the family room and over here to the right is the living room. Up there is the dining room and back over here is the kitchen. So this is a circular floor plan. This all goes in one big circle. So we're gonna go this way first. We're walking into the living room and this room is gigantic. This is one of the largest living rooms I have seen almost too big. As you can see, the owners made a little office back in here because the space is so large. Featured in this room, we have a wood-burning fireplace with glass doors and a very nice surround right there. We have a nice little area for a piano. The room's so large, you have pretty much any furniture combination, sectionals, whatever would work in this room. Also updated in this house, we have crown molding all the way around the ceiling in this room. And as you can see, we have rosettes in the corner there. So uh, you can see down there, those are the bedrooms down there. That's the coat closet I just pointed out. And this house also has updated windows. Here we're looking at um, Pella windows. And these are all wood windows. They're just white wood windows. So very, very solid. Turn back around here. I'm staying in the living room right now. We're looking at the formal dining room. And also we have updated picture window here and updated double tilt window there. Dining room also has crown molding all the way around the top. And this is a very, very nice room. Next we're gonna walk into the kitchen. I'm just gonna to turn to the left and I'm in the dining room right now. Over here to the left, I'll give you a peek at this real quick. This is a good sized pantry closet, and this is located in the kitchen. I'm going to back out of there and give you a look at the updated kitchen. All this kitchen has been updated. Here we have, this is all ceramic tile, and this is a nice island in here in the kitchen that has a cooktop and oven in it as well. Over here on this side of the kitchen, we have an eat-in area. Over here we have a little work desk. We have a updated window there and then the casement window there as well. 
The dishwasher and the oven stay with this house, and the microwave and range are, or excuse me, the microwave and the fridge are negotiable. As you can see, these are updated wood cabinets, have a lazy Susan there, and a bread box there. Sink has a garbage disposal, and both of these windows overlook the side yard and kind of the backyard. So turning out of the kitchen, oh, one thing, sorry, we will get you dizzy, to point out, oops, sorry, a little off focus, there we go. The kitchen has all hardwood floors in it. So turning my back to the kitchen, we're walking into the family room, which the current owners have set up kind of as, of, uh, as a kid's playroom. And I'm going to back up a little bit and just look over here to the garage. We saw the garage from the outside. This is the door where you'd be coming in if you parked in the garage. So going back to the family room, we have updated ceiling fan in here. And we have a large brick surround for the wood-burning stove. Have a built-in bookshelf right there. And don't know if I mentioned this in the living room or not, all this carpet is brand new. Um, it was just put in about a week prior to this house being listed. So, and it has upgraded padding underneath as well. So it's very soft and cushy if you're a person that likes to walk around with your shoes off. Fireplace was just painted. And on the other side of this, we have the, well, it's actually probably more over there on the other side of the room is the fireplace there. So we have one stove, wood burning stove, and then one fireplace as well. Off of the family room, we have a triple panel Pella door, and this is also new. And this overlooks the large concrete patio with the snow out there. It's kind of hard to tell, but it goes about right there. Pretty good size. And we'll walk out in the backyard and take a look at that here in a minute. Next, we'll go down the hallway and check out the bedrooms, utility room, and bathroom. So the first room that we come to on our right is the enormous utility room. We have a big linen pantry, closet, whatever have you, that stays with the property. The attic pull-down stairs are in here. We have a mud sink, and there's another back door in the utility room as well that leads out to the concrete patio. The washer and dryer are negotiable. Here we have a brand new high efficiency water heater. The owner says this is the most efficient water heater that you can get. And this is gas. And we also have a high efficiency gas furnace that's been updated as well. We have a humidifier and a Honeywell electric air cleaner in here as well. And as you can see, we have a lot of shelving, wire shelving in here, just a lot of storage in this room. And all this wire shelving and the cabinet in here stays. Backing out of here across the hallway, we have bedroom number one, as we'll call it. Have a double bifold door here. And one really nice thing about this house, all these bedrooms are big. There's no small bedrooms. As you see, this is set up as a kid's room right now, but it is a big bedroom. Going down the hallway, first room, next room that we come to on the right, we have the updated bathroom have a very good sized linen closet that goes back pretty deep. And this bathroom has been remodeled. We have updated toilet, updated vanity, and this is all ceramic tile. And that's a shower tub over there to the right. Next, coming down the hallway, we have a large closet here that is deep and can store a lot of stuff. So this is a big sprawling brick ranch home. Um, a little over 2,100 square feet. It has a lot of storage as well. So no steps in this home. Everything is all on one level. Next, this is bedroom number two. And as you can see, this is a huge room as well. So but you could potentially knock down this wall here if you needed a four bedroom or, you know, have the kids share the rooms because these are all good size. And we have a big double sliding door there as well. And one thing, all of the closets in this house have lights in the closets. So that's one thing that I don't see a lot in other houses, but a lot of little intricate things that are just great on this house. Now we're walking into the master bedroom. This has updated ceiling fan in here. And it also has two closets. We have a double bifold closet there. I'm going to walk over here to this room, give you another view. Turn in the corner, and then we have 
a bifold closet there. So we have his and hers closets or hers and hers if it's like my house. And the master bedroom also has its own master bathroom. Oh, don't, don't be scared of the guy in the mirror. That's just me. Updated vanity. We have updated toilet. This is all ceramic floor in here. Have some nice nickel shelves in here. And this is a walk-in tiled shower. And this has been recently updated as well. And it is a pretty good sized shower. Next, we'll go check out the backyard. So here in, on the inside, we saw where you can walk out the back door onto the patio, but I'm back to the driveway side here. We have a stone paver patio leading to the backyard. We have a little gate here. Let's see if I can open it up. There we go. Walking into the backyard. We're just looking at one section right now. Here we can see the mini barn. That's mini barn number two. The backyard goes way over here. That wood pile can stay with the property if it's still here. Have a wood fence on that side. The yard is completely fenced in. You can see more flowers starting to bloom over there. On the back side of the house here, we can see freshly landscaped backyard as well. So we're still walking down this paver patio to the backyard. And before I point us to the left, you can see the large play area right here. And then panning back around, we can see the large concrete patio here. So we still have the stone path that leads us all the way back around to the front side of the property there. We have the sliding back door that we saw before. And then the door, another door leading to the outside. So I'm backing up into the corner. So as you can see, this is a huge backyard. Walking over this side of the property, we have... Yet another door, that door comes from the utility room leading to the backyard. Then our stone patio picks up again. And then on the other side of the property we have a picket, wood picket fence there as well. Stone patio leads us all the way to this. Now the property does go back over here too, but this is just the section that's fenced in. So from back here we can see the full view of everything. This is a big backyard. So cul-de-sac street, big backyard, uh, Washington Township, no Centerville any income taxes. Uh, the owners are highly motivated to sell.